Check, check, check it. It's Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Mr. Maker. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, Madeo, walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. Even threads, you name it, we're on it. But if you type Boss Talk Podcast anywhere, I mean, Google us. It, we pop up. But if you want to see our visuals, you definitely got to go ahead and sign up for our memberships. Don't only subscribe. Sign up for our memberships on our YouTube channel. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one in the description section, you'll see a link that says sign up for membership. Click that and just follow the instructions. And we appreciate y'all. Y'all always say, how can we support the brand? That's how you can support the brand. And we love you. Man, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. We here today, y'all. You know when I pop out, it's going down, man. I got a guy in here today. He don't need no introduction. As y'all know, I always say that, always man. Say that. Listen, man, this guy right here been on the internet. That's how I ran into him. Uh, he was screaming at the internet like, nigga, this nigga, pop, boop, pop. I was like, damn, what's going on? And that was last night. It was quick. It happened fast <laughs> for me. Check it, man. Check My boy it, man. Trey is in the building, man. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Trey Slack, man. Stroud Eastwood. Fort Trey Texas, Slack, man. Eastwood, Fort Worth, Texas, as usual in the building. A lot of niggas coming here for Fort Worth, man. It's crazy, man. I never would have thought when I started podcasting that all these Fort Worth niggas would be like they lit. Like, it's a mm -hmm. lot of talent over there, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of business owners, a lot of politicians over there, man. It's going down. And they it's like to rep down. where they from. Like to rep where they from. Let's yes. get into it. So you born and raised Fort Worth, right? Yep. Raised yep. with your mom and dad in the same raised household? With my mom and dad, same household. Really? You know, that's rare. Yep. Till I turned about, well, about 16, it kind of started getting a little rocky. Okay. They split? Yeah, they split. Okay. So, 16, how did you feel? How did you, you know, about that situation? Oh, well, coming from the hood, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of really, that's what you see. I know, but you did not see that in your household until 16. So, like, like, like but you have a household that's kind of like, that keep everything inside your household. Mm. So the drama that was going inside the household, didn't nobody know. Okay. Until it just exploded with the parents. Mm. And then there come a decision of which way you're going to go. Because so, I'm old enough to choose at that time, do I want to go with my mama and mm -hmm. the rest of my brothers, or do I want to go? With my dad. And who did you go with? I went with my dad. But staying with my dad, though, he was, um, at that time, the reason why the, the, uh, the economy came was because of drugs. You know, mm -hmm. by that time, drugs kicked in. And so, but this, my heart was with my dad at that time. So, but your other brothers went with your mom? They went with my oldest brother. I mean, my youngest brothers and my sister. I'm the oldest. Okay, okay. How old was your youngest brother at that time? Probably five. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, he needs to be with mom. Because I always right. say, when you become a teenager, you need to be with dad. So dad can show you how to be a man. Yeah, I was, like, four years apart. It's four of us, same mom, okay. same dad. So, um, but looking back at that situation, do you feel like, because um, a lot of times um, families, and you're grown now, so you know certain things being an adult. Um, do you feel like they should have stuck it out and work it out? Because, you know, every couple have their arguments and going to have their riff and stuff like that and they keep it in the house. But some, some families do actually push through and make it work. Some families say, you know what, we're going to split. How did that affect the kids and do you feel like they should have stuck it out? Well, at that time, they couldn't stick it out. And with me, well, I'm the oldest, it was mm -hmm. already understood with me. I, I can see it, but it was with the young ones that had to deal with it. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Yeah, that was a kind of, it, like you said, it was a little rough road, but it was easy for me because I was already at the age to where I can see and visualize what really was going on. Okay. Wow. Man, you know, um, when I when I seen you, you own a barbershop. Right. How long you been, first of all, how did you start getting into owning a business? Well, uh, back in 2010 well 2001 let me go all the way back to 2001 I ran the boss man Brewster Keys and Brewster yeah well, yeah Brewster he been on here shout out to boss man Brewster man yeah that's my baby there, man. already boy, now you man. sound good to me right there yes sir okay yeah that's my boy man so I ran to him on um, Dick Ward you know, it was a transfer we both was coming in I was 21 he was 17 so he was coming in fresh on 17 you know I met him during a fight you on a unit. On a unit. Wait a minute. But you see, you can't just go jump into prison. Nigga, don't just jump into prison. What caused you to get, you know, bump your head? 
It was him bumping his head. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even know, Bruce. It was just something on the basketball court. And, you know, he don't mind me telling this story, but that's my boy. You know, he kind of got a little in his little head, and they went in to fight. And, you know, he got the best of them. Young Brewster, they didn't know him. But see, the thing is, like, when you in there, you know, Dallas and Fort Worth kind of run together, right? Right. To and Houston extent. run run together. Man, it depends on who you is and who your character is as a man in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because me, I mess with everybody. What, I had what Dallas, unit was you on? I was on Dick World, Wallace Unit, you Polanski were, Unit, wow. Terrell Unit, um... The stale unit. How long did you but what did you do? Unit. But hold on, but what did you do to get in trouble to land you in prison in the first place? I had a south on two public servants, um, and I caught um ex ex case, uh, a quarter bird of cocaine case. Wow. All this at one time. This is one night. And I beat up two laws at night and got away. Oh damn. See that's what made my story so I asked, we had, I'm talking the whole neighborhood at 2 30 in the morning. I'm talking, we out here fighting until I'm naked. Yeah. So you yeah. got away just for that moment because they caught up with you, they right? They caught up with me like two weeks later. Two weeks later. How old were you at this time? I was 20. So for the main fact, you fighting law enforcement, you've probably felt like, you know what, y'all just gonna have to kill me or y'all, I ain't going to jail. Is that why you was fighting them? No, nah, see, then another thing, see, I was fresh home from the army too. Man, that army be messing with people. I, mm. I hear that all the time, bro. Yeah. Like, like it mentally, it'll put you in a place where you feel like, first of all, you want to be respected. And a lot of time, that respect don't come like that, to be honest with you. Because you putting time in, right? How right. long was you in the army? I was in there for like a year and a half. Not very went, long. Not very long. And when you but come, I was going all the training, the heels, agony, misery, and heartbreak yeah. in Fort Knox, Kentucky, which is one of the hardest basic training mm. in, in, in the military, really, in the army. They didn't give you a break because you had been in, you know, in the military. Oh, uh, no! Nah, because that's the reason why I went to the military. It was oh. either go to jail or go to the military, and I went to the military with no GED or diploma. There ain't too many people that do that. Now I know mm. that's different. I, I don't even think you can find too many people that no. went with, without a GED or a diploma. So did you get kicked out of the military? No, nah, I left. Like I said, when I came home on on a break, it was a one. Thanksgiving break, I come home. Mm-hmm. And when I came home, like when, like I said before, I left my dad was on drugs. So when I came home, when I come to the house, it was like a full-fledged drug house. Mm-hmm. And I was like, heck no. Everybody got to go. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to go. And then when I seen the money that kept knocking on the door, I just kept answering the door. And I like, I need this. But you military, you making money in the military. Why you needed that for? You wasn't making no money in the military. I get a check for a month. It's three hundred thirty-one dollars, private first class. That's how you get the only thing where the money comes. You stacking it up, mm. and your benefits. So you, so you got to be enough. To, so as you come into the PF one, you you ain't making, you ain't making no money. Mm-hmm. So how long after that, before you got I in never trouble? Went back. After no, that. Oh. Be- before you got in trouble. So that first day when you came home and you did all of that, when, how long it took you t- to get in trouble and had to go to jail? I was going to jail probably every other month, probably skip a year, uh, uh, six, eight, nine months. But if, back then, it wasn't nothing for like evading the rest. I wasn't going to let you catch me with nothing. Mm-hmm. Then. See, loud, I just run for the hell of it. Mm-hmm. But you were saying, okay, so you're saying public servant, you fought and you beat them. Why did you do that? Uh, well, they seen me across the street. I was at the store. I just left the Club James. Club James, mm-hmm. everybody know Club James from Dallas and Fort Worth. Shout mm-hmm. out to James, man. So uh, I had just left there. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I was at this store on Miller, and I had on all red. Right, I had on a, a Jamal Anderson jersey, a red Jamal Anderson jersey, a red Dickies, and black and red uh, Air Maxes. So it's like four police cars sitting across the street. And I said, dang, they going to come get me. But when I pulled out, I pulled off and made the block, and one of them came. And one of them came, I was, I'll was never forget it, I, I was in a rental car. So I really just thought he wasn't just going to run my place right. and just go on. So me being cocky at that time, I cut the inside light of the car on. Right? Looks suspicious. I did it because I was trying to really be in. Right, so, like, so uh, he could see you, so, so you, you ain't me. trying to hide. I ain't trying to hide, right. and I cut. Juvenile set it off in this mud. You know what I'm saying? I was jamming, set it off in his uh-huh. mud. I'm coming up, I'm coming up to my baby mama's house. Mm-hmm. And, and as I turn up in the yard, he hit the lights. 
So when he hit the lights, it had to give me no time to do nothing because I really just thought he was going to go on and I was going to pull in the yard. But when he hit the, he got out, he told me to step out the car. And when he stepped out, by that time, I can only hide it in my private part. Mm-hmm. So by that time, when, when I when he told me to spread my legs, he gave me how to spread my legs and the dope fall. Fell. It's all in one big bundle. Mm. So I, as I look down at it, I look down, I look back up at him, and when he looked down, I caught him with an elbow. And boom, there we go. And we were squabbling, 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 squabbling. That's, he gave me the hardest fight, though, that first one. Because in your mind, you started doing that because you're like, you, you didn't want to go to jail. I was not trying to go to jail. I'm in my baby mama's yard, everybody outside. So somebody come out here and, you know what I'm saying, I got the dope and the phone, right? My baby mama, she come out trying to help me, but she grabbed the phone and not, not knowing the dope. and right. not the dope. But if she had caught it, if she had grabbed the dope, then she would have gotten in trouble. No, nah, because I had the laws. On you. Right. But he had already seen it, though, on the floor. But he couldn't, he couldn't, but he was too busy with me. With you. Man. But then you beat him up and you got away. I got away. So they turned around and found it up on the floor. Right. So two weeks later now, they found you where? Well, let me back up. So it was one, la- it was one last law, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, man, I give because they had cornered me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I just give. Right, I say, just don't mace me. So that dude was an old, I don't lie, an old man. Like, he was just like, he was just left the desk job or something. Mm-hmm. But he maced me and I hit him. And when I hit him, I jumped and took off running. By this time, one of the other laws is coming from the other way. Right? And he finna shoot me. Mm-hmm. But it's this lady that ain't, ain't fair in this yard at this time. Don't kill him. She said, on oh God, don't shoot that baby. Mm-hmm. And that's why I always wear these hats right here. You know on what I'm God. On God. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, so... He, that's what she said oh God and I'm running I'm seeing him and I'm like I'm waiting on the shot it never came mm. it never came so I, I, I always say on her I ain't fake did you never. ever go back to her and talk to her and oh, tell her that, thank oh, you that was my buddy that was my buddy that's the, that's the Eastwood ain't it if, if, if you ain't from Eastwood you don't know I ain't fake from the KP block they, they, they gonna know her dang yeah Wow, that's crazy. So, okay, so we're moving forward to, so how you ended up running your own business after all of that? Well, in prison, I got a, I had a, well, I had a 12 year sentence. That was, I got a 12 year sentence for all mm-hmm. of that. So when I come home on the 12, I did two years, 11 months on that. I come home and when I came, I knew I was selling up, selling some more dope. It wasn't no doubt in my mind. You know what I'm saying? That was so my, you was not reformed at all. I wasn't reformed at all. I'm no, I'm coming. I'm coming. After 12 years, huh? I, I got a 12 year sentence, none act. But how much time did you serve? You know, I'm gonna tell you on another two. The reason why it was none act, I know people gonna ask, is because remember I said my baby mama got the phone, mm-hmm. right? They kept saying I was hitting them with something. If she would have left that phone out there, I would have got an aggravated twist. Right, because they would have said the phone is what you would. Yes. Mm. So it kind of worked out in a way, and it kind of didn't work out mm-hmm. in a way. But as I came home on that 12, I did uh, two years, 11 months. When I came home, I knew I was going to sell some more dope. I was, out, I, I was out six months. I got caught going to Big Springs. You know, I had like a nice little run in Big Springs, Texas, and on my way back, we got bumped. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen a law on that freeway from the whole time I was going to that one time I got pulled over. Mm-hmm. You know, everything happens for a reason. That's my favorite saying. And I had every sign that day not to go. I couldn't get the rental car. I lost my driver's license. My baby mama said, why don't you just stay? When you're a kid, you don't take notice of signs. Kids don't take notice of signs at all. No. Wow. I want to get into a, 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 the barbershop you have. Right. How long you been on it? I've been on it. The barbershop I'm at now, I've been on it since two thousand. I mean, 2000. Coronavirus. Okay, 20, 2000, 21. 2000, 21. It's the third year right here. March will be my third year. That wow. made me a successful uh, person. Did you, right? When you got into it, did you? Hell yeah. Did you Did you get into it to, you want to keep it for a long time? I didn't have no plan to get no barbershop. Really? No plan. My only plan was the mobile barbershop. I got a mobile barbershop. Okay. So I designed this mobile barbershop in prison with my brain on a piece of paper. Were well, you in that cutting with the with the, comb, with the comb and, the, and the razor? Yeah. That's what I figured. It go hard, don't it? It go hard. <laughs> it give you a better cut. It do. You get more, I think you're more detailed. Yeah, and that's why I'm good but with it's the slower though, now, right? because of that comb and razor. I don't it know. It takes longer, though, to cut it like longer. that. Right, it I would think. It's going to be nice, but, though. 
Yes, you got you time. Got, you got time. You got <laughs> detail. You can get every hair that you want to get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but so the reason I asked you that, I know you're like, well, the reason I, where I was going with that was that, like the other, okay, people when I when I posted my news, you can use right. right. I talked about you. I talked about uh, what's his name, Kevin Spencer. Spencer. I talked about Charleston White. I talked about just that incident, looking at the video that I seen surface last night. Right. Okay, but when I seen it. It was like, okay, people in the comments start saying, oh, they set him up. Now, I want to ask you something. Like, I seen you come from the back. You was in the video and you tried to shake uh, Kevin. Alleged, mm -hmm. Yeah, his hand. and But that didn't go that way, right? So the setup part, I want to ask you, uh, like, like, was this a setup? Uh, first of all, was this real? That's what the people ask, too. Was this a real situation? It's a thousand percent real. Authentic as hell. Authentic as hell. Okay. Now, once he comes over, once was it a setup? That's no. what the people want to know. No word near a setup. I don't even know how he come up with it that it was a setup. Okay. Do you know Kevin um Spencer? I know of him. I know him through like uh I'm a blood and the dude that I call my brother, which we grew up in the same neighborhood, we grew up banging against each other, mm -hmm. doing certain stuff. So that became my, I used to idolize him in basketball, but once game banging started, he went his way and I had to go my way. Right. And we just right around the corner from each other. In Eastwood, you're going to turn a corner, it's Crips, you're going to turn a That's corner, right. it's the blood. So you always at odds with somebody. Mm -hmm. But it's always somebody in that neighborhood that you still like. You know what I'm saying? That you still got love for. It's just like, it was a natural, like a bond with us, like, you got a pass for some reason. You know what I'm saying? I and that's how you was with Kevin? No, with with, with the brother that with the brother that's okay with Kevin. okay 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 right so that's how you so, knew him that's so, how I knew so him. when when he, when he comes in you don't know he's coming I don't I matter of fact I'm walking from the store my barbershop I had walked to the store so I'm coming back from the store and as I'm coming my phone ringing and he said bro here this is that's his friend that's Kevin's uh white that's mm -hmm. his brother because he's he working in my shop we just come together with the shop. So uh, he say, bro, I say, I'm right here. I'm coming down the thing. So he come, he said, I got them shirts in there because I had been asking the brother to give me some of them, uh, a couple of them shirts. Yeah. But I'm thinking that he's going to get the shirts and give to him because he's been on the road doing everything. He said, I've been busy, bro. I can't, I'll get it to you. So that's how I figured I was going to get it was through the brother. But when he came, because I used to cut, I've been cutting Charles and Harris probably since maybe 2019, maybe 20. So it's a long time. For a long time, you know what I'm saying? I just cause how he's working, he used to be in the Lexus when he first started in Lexus. Yeah. He used to mm -hmm. sit in the Lexus all the time in the car. That's what yeah. I used you know to be out here in the alley. He's sitting in the alley, and this is in my neighborhood. So I always knew where he was. I just go around there and talk to him. He brought King Bobby Louie down here. We went and got him on my bus, on my mobile bus, cause I uh, and we rode King Bobby Louie around. We came to my block, blessed my block. We did all that with him. And even after he left, in he turned on me. For something, I, I I was saying something about the police. And he called me all kind of stupid punk motherfucker. Really? And, yeah, was, oh, so was this about, wasn't the first time you and him had had issues. But no. you still was cool with it. Y'all still cut each other. I you still, still cut just, his hair. It, me, it ain't nothing Charles can do can make me want to fight him or do something to him, man. He too little. No, but you know what normally what when he get mad at somebody, he cut them off. So he never no, really he just... bad cut. about you, but see, where I come from, man, I, uh, I was raised in Eastwood. I had a basketball coach named Coach Gibbs, mm -hmm. right? That's one of the hardest coach, best coach I ever. Then I went to the army with drill sergeants and all this here. Me and then I go to prison, man. You got to hear all so kind of talk. So you used to all of that, man. That talk don't mess with me. So you know what I'm saying? So he what you said? What it was 100 percent not a setup. So when he's in there, you 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 just come to shake uh, Kevin's no, hand. No, no, I pick my shirts. I pick. What? What you talking? Was that you come from the back when somebody shook his hand no, in this I'm, video? No, I'm gonna tell you how. I'm, let me how go that back. video get there like that? Okay. It's set up perfectly. It's set up perfectly. Okay, so when he come in, Charleston's trying to uh, put his. He going live. He went live, right? So when he go live, it go dead because my Wi-Fi don't work. I'm getting. I'm switching companies. I'm waiting on them at a two o'clock, at a, maybe like a three o'clock to bring the box. I was getting a new T-Mobile. Right, so I'm waiting on it to drop in the mail. Yeah. So um, it cut off. So he cut it back on again. 
it played about maybe five, seven minutes, and then it cut off. So by the time we walking in the shop, he tried it one more time. He cut it on. And it worked about two minutes, and it cut off. And I said the exact words, so I said, God don't want you to play that, right? So as he's sitting out there, I say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to record it. I set it down, and I'm thinking I'm pushing, I moved it down the video, if you look on your phone video, but I hit slow mo. So the whole time I'm cutting this hurt, this thing is going in slow motion. Really? Yeah. So so, so after the after the whole scuffle end, as I go back in, I'm going back in trying to clean up. I look at my say, man, that phone been recording. The whole time. The whole time. So, but when when you see, because Kevin, he had, he, from what he said, and this is Charleston White said, he had called Kevin Spencer a snitch or something. Called a snitch, whatever, going to child molest or whatever. All Everything that. you can under the sun to make a man want to fight you. Make and, a man want to do something to you. And if he knew they had differences when Kevin come in, he, he would sleep. Cause he, he sleep a lot. He sleep a lot. He was sleep. He didn't even see him coming. Man, Charles was sleep on my see you see he I know he was comfortable. Because my shop is very comfortable, home warming. You know what I'm saying? You really once you come there, you're gonna be the only one in the shop. It, the only time it's gonna be like that, it might be three or four people in there on the Saturday because that's how I, I gap it out so everybody can be called I want nobody sitting on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody's scheduled. See, that's that's why I came up with my mobile walks because I don't like a lot of crowds. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you don't I, take walk-ins. I, I take walk-ins. Oh, so but, somebody can just walk yeah, in. Yeah, but I, I cut so good and fast, you're not going to be sitting long. Oh. You know what so I'm saying? So how did he catch, catch Charleston slipping like that? His wife was in there, too. And his brother was there, too, right? His brother was part owner of the shop with me. He's still part owner of the shop? Hell no. So you cut him all the way off. He, cut, he just come he, home though, he didn't basically, he? He basically, what he did, he basically like, he went PC, if you've been in prison, he was like, he went PC, his mama come up there, they got a sheet and packed up everything in one bag. Like that, I'm talking, and, and 10 minutes, say, man, I feel vulnerable up here. Right, and I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? But I'm cutting my son and her, so at this time, I can't show no face in front of my son that I'm mad. So I'm like, I'm just keep cutting my hair. His mama said, yeah, the Lord know what's going on. The Lord know what's, I'm like, what's she talking about? Was this after after, after after Charleston had got hit with the, with right. the two how feet? Far, how long after? This was the next two days. Next two days, because she was like, that's the place. She, she then came up there and, and blessed my building. Say, I like this spot. It's warm. It's close by the house. You know, I see you can grow right here. And man, we talking, he was dying women her. He was dying my her. So he was getting a big following off of me. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was getting a lot of business. And man, that man come up there in 10 minutes and wrecked that whole thing. From from what we worked on from prison to the streets. Charles would come through there like a tornado. Well, let me ask you this. What Charles was there, he had something brown in his hair. I don't know what that was. Bro, listen. <laughs> Bro, I seen there's a big brown patch of stuff. I don't know what y'all, what is, what is y'all putting on people's heads? Is that dye? What the hell was that? So his brother just got out of school. His brother was going to uh, Paul Mitchell, right? So he got the dye game down. He kept, he doing white folks. So his brother everything. put that dye in his head? No, I did. Oh, you? <laughs> I did. That, and, and what does the dye do? See, so, uh, like I said, I was cutting Charles and her first. So when he came home, I figured he was going to uh, take over gonna, from. I was going to relinquish the duties to his brother. But when he came home, when he went to school, he jumped over his brother's head and went to to the dude over Paul Mitchell and started cutting his hair. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whoa, what kind of move is that? Right. You know what I'm saying? So even when he came up to the shop, to me, I'm thinking he's going to let his brother cut his hair. He said he wanted me to cut his hair. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm like, oh, so I'm I'm still the barber. But you know, what is it dye? You won't tell me what I'm kind of dye it was. So his brother going to the school, right? So his brother came up with this dye. Oh, right? his brother. So you special. were using that dye, dye that his brother that, did. That, that Kevin White created. Okay. Right? He didn't create it, so... We didn't try it. It looked good. It cover up your bald spots. It fill you in. Gonna get you a, a razor edge up. Right, so guess what we was gonna name? What y'all gonna name it? The Charleston White, cause he got that spot up there. You know he got that. Yeah, spot. he got that you know spot. Got that right there. Yeah, so <laughs> you know he got that right there. So we was trying to come up with ways to cover that up. Mm. So and, and and this this was gonna be the, the it, was, was, it was a lot of it. It was a lot. But see, it, that, it, it was brown. It was goldish brown. But that's the process of it turning his hair black. Okay. That's just the process of it. Let it's me ask you. But I, got a, I got this question about that. Because with the dye, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
he was halfway done doing his hair when the scuffle started, right? His hair wasn't finished. He still finished. had to die. It yeah. wasn't done. It wasn't done. But at the end of everything is finished and he did this video in the back of the ambulance, his hair was done. Looked like everything got done. So did he come back into your seat and you finished up his hair? Well, all I did, I had already cut in everything. Is up, so all I had to do was really wash wash it out. Wash it out. So yeah. did he wash it out? Well, I, at the time when, when it happened, right, at this time, it's 5.15 when the ambulance, is the ambulance pulling up? I mean, I'm telling, because you know his brother is part owner of it, so. Right. My daughter's at daycare at 5.15. Yeah, I'm already late to go in to get her, right? So I got to go. I don't care what they talking about no more. I got to go get my, she too. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go get her. You know what I'm saying? So I run and go get her. I tell her, you're going to be all right. I'll be right back. Watch that die out your heart, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we see y'all right. He just walking back and forth pace. Upset. Upset, which he should have been. But let me, I got to ask you this, man, because we got to go back into this video. You that was two parts. Now this video is chopped, and you said I chopped you said I'm yeah. chopping this thing up the way I want the way to. I want, I to. want to understand. First of all, in that video when you done that, why was it? What? Why was the anger? Did he say something to you? Because you was like the detectives already got it, and and what was because, the because what was he, the anger he for? Because I had, I've been had, no. This happened in November, November the second. Yeah. Right, so y'all know y'all just now seeing this. Yeah, tape. I remember, that I, and I, I remember somebody had told me that it was a video, uh, and I was like, "Man, damn, it's a video of the fight because you heard about it, but you didn't see nothing." And I'm the type of dude I'm like, if it ain't real unless I see it. So when I heard about it, I was like, "Man, wonder what the video." So you said November when I got the call, you had that was a video. That was a video. Okay, but see, then nobody know I had the video, right? And then I didn't know it was another video on the other end because the dude on the other end at the other barbershop, he got one on the outside of his wall. Is that yeah. where the other picture that's, came from? That's the what, one, the, uh, where she was standing where the, the other shot from? The, uh, where his where, wife where was, his wife was standing no, in front from, of him. Oh, that come from my phone. Okay, okay. So that's another phone. That's another video. So ain't nobody, it's, another it's, video. it's another video ain't nobody seen again. You see, I got another video ain't nobody seen the word. So this is where he catched the case at. You see what I'm saying? This story really deep. Wow, so that's good. It, it, will that video come out or? You know, I, I don't know, man. I, I might put it out. <laughs> but okay, so I'm, I'm I might here. play with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's time to screw. It's time me to have fun. You had fun on what, what's this now? Yeah, yeah. He, what, what he, yeah, yeah. And I ain't he been talk, saying talk, nothing. He you know, bad. And the reason why I didn't say nothing is because you, 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 you say this man hit you with a gun. Right. Yeah, that's what, what that it man was. did. That was so disrespectful. Because where I come from, I at least would have tapped you. Hey, I told you I was gonna catch you. You know what I'm saying? I got you now. Or uh, not hit a man while he sleep. But the things that he said to a man, I'm coming to get you wherever I see you. And as I talked with Kevin Spence, he said I don't give a damn where he was, Trey. He didn't care where. I don't he care was. if he was at church. I was gonna get him. You know. So. It, 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 that put me in a hell of a bind. That's what I, and that's why I asked you. Like, this was your business, man. This my business, like, and, and and you in business. This is a business. This business been here right. for uh, going on eighteen years. Um, altercations, if they happen, I'm gonna feel very upset because this is a staple in this community. People know this store and they love this store and they shop here and they grew up shopping here. This is where people love to come. Like, and so I was going to ask you that question like, damn, like this is your business. If you was, how would you set somebody up at your business yeah, and you put all your money up like yeah, I that? Do preach. I you do see what I'm saying? I do prominent preachers. I do back to school giveaways. You don't away. want that. Some I other? don't want that in my shop and I'm a felon. Right, and I know his brother just come home from prison. He done done thirty one years, and for you to go and say it's a gun, and that you automatically endangering your brother. So I'm thinking, trying to think for your brother. I'm trying to think for me. You didn't hit, you said he hit him with a gun. Now, now just for real. Now everybody know. Now say if I don't say he say he hit him with a gun, right? And I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I just let him go along with that lie. He hit him with a gun. He know this man is a federal. He know all he gotta do is get caught with a gun. That's that's that they gonna that's that's intensifying. It's over. it's over. You already didn't had a major case. Wow. So if I just let you say he hit him with a gun, and I don't say nothing, what kind of wrath you think gonna come down on me? 
That's real. That's real. I agree 100 percent. But what I wanted to get to, because you see, some people who watch it may not have seen the video and stuff like that. So I really wanted you to um, walk me through this part. So you was cutting his hair. You were doing his hair, right? Right. When there was this another man, guy behind him. When cut. when this man walked in, and you saw when the man walked in while he was sleeping, right? You saw him coming. No. You didn't see him come. Uh. Uh-uh. So when, because you know when you walk through a business, especially a barbershop, you hear ding. Because right. normally barbershops so, be so, having so a so ding on the door. We, we, what's, what's what you call when you got to come through a main door? Mm-hmm. So we got two ends of the door. My door, where I sit, my chair sits right here, and that's the door. Mm-hmm. So I, if he would came through this side of the building, I would have seen him come to the door. So he came through he another. He came from the back side of the building. So when he come through the back, so my chair is, is right here. And your back is never locked. Huh? Your back door the is back not locked. Doors because it's another barbershop on the other end. Okay. Right? It's a barbershop, it's a church down there, and it's a uh, hair salon down there. Mm-hmm. So he came in from behind you? From behind me. So when he opened the door, I don't recognize this Kevin Spencer. I just recognize a dude, and me being a gentleman, I'm going to shake your hand because you're coming into my barbershop. Mm-hmm. But as this shake go, he punches him. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? My mind like, and I say, this Kevin White and this Charles and Spencer. Oh, my God. Yeah, this Charles Boom. White and Kevin Spencer. I got the guy grabbing him. You see what I'm saying? But the brother back here, too. What the brother? He didn't come up with? Yeah, his brother. Well, what did his brother, brother do? There, that's, his brother the standing, that's his brother standing right there. I didn't know right that. There. And what that's did his Kevin brother White. do? He didn't do nothing. He didn't do that. Yeah, Kevin but White. But my brother in there and seen that, and like, you would want to do something to help your brother. That was Kevin White. See, I didn't even know that. You just, yeah, oh my, that was his brother standing there. That's his brother standing right there. But I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I take, the, I take a look at that two ways. This man just done 31 years in prison. Don't want to get in trouble no more. You don't want, you know how scared he probably was? You know all the thoughts that was going through his mind? So I kind of played, I was like the same thing. Get back, don't you do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I even said, Charles say get back, don't do nothing. So he was in a, I want to help you. I want to. So Charleston said that to him, yeah. his brother. But at the same time, Charleston was asleep. Everything should have went out the door. But then put myself, okay, being the unbiased person that I am, mm-hmm. put myself in his position. I would be blaming you in some form of fact. Because if somebody is asleep and unaware of what's going on and you're in my head, I'm feeling that you are seeing my whole surrounding. So you should be the one tapping my shoulder if something crazy coming up close to me. Am I doing dreads or I'm trying to fade your hair in good? I didn't know I was no security guard. I'm just saying. I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. My job is to concentrate on your hair and get this line and have your ears your straight, not looking around because everybody come through my door is important. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no enemies coming through my door. I ain't got no beef coming through my door. If Charles came through my door, he I know he felt safe because why, why he went to sleep. But you know the type of person that he is and you know that he has a lot of enemies because of the things that he says. Man, did y'all see him on the couch with Trap Boy Freddy doing a, on his podcast? Mm-hmm. Did he tell Trap Boy he going to bust his house, he going to do all this? And then you got him on your podcast and y'all buddies. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you got going on, fam. I don't know if you acting. I don't know what you got going on. Mm-hmm. So my thing, I'm just gonna cut her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never. I've been. That's the first problem I ever had in my shop. That's the first problem I ever had. The only other problem we had was the other barber got shot on the other end, but he got shot at the store. Mm. And he ran back down, and I knew he wasn't going to make it if he keep going. Mm. So I had him lay down in the parking lot mm-hmm. and pry pressure to him until the ambulance came. And that's why they say it's a high crime area, such, such, because it is. But if it's a high crime area and you got a barbershop over there and you got a mobile, don't you think it's kind of like trying to re that area? Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. Don't, don't you think somebody, if Charles and White sold into the community, won't you think he's supposed to pour into that? Mm-hmm. Huh? Don't He ain't paid for no kids around, no other place, none of that. I funded his brother when he come out. I rocked him out the door from the prison. I got pictures from us in the barbershop inside the prison to him doing my hair outside the prison. Do you mm-hmm. think I try to say them up. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, so hold on. His wife was in there too, right? No, she wasn't. Well, she, but no, how, she wasn't. So where did she appear from? Because in the there video, it showed her, she, it she show her with the... You remember? So after the commotion, it's almost over with, right? So it's, And like, she has a thing around her neck like she was you. getting her hair done. Because it's another salon upstairs. He don't even know his wife up there. You see, it's a lady up there. How he don't know where room. his wife is? 
They doing what she doing, she doing, they doing, they hurt. I don't know what they doing. I don't know what nobody, wife. my wife don't know everywhere I go. Hmm. So she you, was serious, she just came, she ran you know? down there, she, no, nah, but she ran. Huh? She ran down there evidently. Somebody went there. Everybody ran down there. You got, you can hear, you can boo, do, 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 do. So you got people, it's, it's shops upstairs. And she, So everybody here, so everybody come down the stairs. And she didn't know her husband was down there. No, when she ran and said it's him, she automatically ran over to him and jumped in front of him. That's what threw me off because I was trying to figure out how he got the mop. But see, as he thought he got the mop and she I, in front of at, him. At this time, I'm wrestling with with Kevin Smith, and I'm trying, got a mop. so I'm trying to tell him, man, get in the closet, man, so you can come. This day. I can get him out the door. You were trying right? to get Charleston to get in the closet. So I'm trying to get his brother in here with him. Okay, right? but Charleston keep Charleston keep agitating the scene more. Mm. Bitch ass nigga, so, so he grab a goddamn water, my, my spray bottle, and like he gonna hit it. That's how you know he know it ain't no well, gun. What that gonna do? A spray Thank bottle. You, that, what you gonna get somebody? You gonna get an alcohol bottle and try to hit somebody if they got a gun? No. You not gonna do that, man. You playing on on, on the world right now. You playing with my livelihood now. You see what I'm saying? Why would you lie and say that, that this man got a gun, but you trying to hit him with a spray bottle? Try to hit him with spray I ain't the smartest detective in the world, man. Like I told the detective, because I lied to the detective and told me it wasn't no tape. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I told him it wasn't no tape because I felt like, hey, that was right here. Yeah. You don't let that That guy right here, man, Fort Worth already, they think we crazy out here. But what made, okay, after a while then, what made you release the tape now? What made you release the tape now? Because this man went to jail. He come out and said, Trey Slack. Now, nah, before he went to jail, he said, yeah, Trey Slack, release the tape, Trey Slack, release the tape, Trey Slack. So I'm still like. So by this time, Detective Wong called me. So when Detective Wong called me, he said, such, such, such. He said, you got Wi-Fi. I said, no, I ain't got no Wi-Fi. You got, I ain't got no tape because I didn't have no tape. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know I had no tape. So as uh, he keep talking. I said, there ain't no tape. It's my phone. You know what I'm saying? He said, you say it on your phone. I said, yeah, it's on my phone. He said, well, can I have? I said, no, you can't have my phone. I don't want you to have it. That's mine. You know what I'm saying? So at this time now, I'm thinking about it. Charleston, I, I don't know if Char Charleston's smart. So I don't know if he playing no games, right? If he want me to release the tape so he really can get him in trouble. Mm -hmm. But right? couldn't they get a warrant to get your phone anyway? That you had to give I it up? I could just threw my phone away. Yeah, you can. Right? But at the same time, I still got in my ear. And it's in my ear and my head saying, this man hit him with a gun. That's where I come into play. Because it, it, it incriminates you and his brother. It incriminates that. all of us, and that's putting a look on my shop. So I get some thing, and I say, well, he hit him, but it wasn't no gun. Because when I get back in, see, don't nobody like y'all camera right here, right? So everybody is over this way. You see what I'm saying? Don't nobody even know this camera on. Don't nobody know the camera is in here but the camera. So don't nobody know what's on the camera but the camera until I walk back in. Uh, it, it, it seemed like it covered a lot of stuff. So if, if there was, I've heard all type of things. I hear there was, he. I, you hear him in the video say, get the pistol or get the gun. You hear that at the end. Who, Charles? Yes. Yeah. Um. Like when 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 he ran out of here and 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 he heard a holler at the end of the video, people are wondering what happened after this after the camera goes after we stop seeing what you revealed to us. Right. So as I say, I get them out the door, right. So by this time, I can kind of close the door, but Charleston wife trying he trying to get the door. She blocking Charleston so he don't get out. He ain't really trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? He really dazed, but he got to put on the show because this is his wife. You know what I'm saying? So as he got out the door, he running, his car is parked right at the door. So when he go out the door, get the gun. She telling him, no, don't get the gun. Don't. He got me fucked up. So by this time, they done made it down the stairs. So the other barber, the one that just got shot, he already paranoid. You know what I'm saying? He hearing guns. He never, he tell the, he tell them to go. He told Charles he ran in the restroom, but the dudes had already ran out the door. So that gave them enough time to get out the way. So by, I'm kind of just sitting in my shop now like, dang. So I finally just gone and run out the door. And by the time I see Charleston run, I ain't never seen no gun that Charleston had. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But as I see him run, he's saying, where that motherfucker at? So he run, I just like, don't shoot, don't shoot. Cause everybody's like, don't shoot. I'm like, don't shoot. 
You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never seen a gun that Charles had, but it's one. Because I told you, I, I, uh, uh, the video. It's another video. Wow. So the other it's video. It's a video on the backside of the building. That covers everything, and it may have picked up. It, that's what picked up, and that's how Charleston got this assault case. Oh, so basically, they got the both footages. The they got the laws got every. That's why I come on there and said, "Nigga, I don't care. The laws I already got it, and they ain't got it trapped and screwed. They got it how it go." And that's why they picked him up. And that's why they see he called the laws trying to get Kevin Spencer caught up with the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Yeah. So Kevin called, "Hey, I need that tape." I'm like, "Bro, you ain't getting this tape." I'm gonna bag up too. This one of the key points. So after this fight happened, right, the next day, I showed Charleston White, the brother, the tape. I I I I text him the tape and showed him, say, ain't nobody hit your brother with a gun. I got it in my phone right now, November the fourth. That's what, yeah, I you text him the video, so he I had the video. Him the video. I, I text him a forty-four second snippet of the video mm-hmm. of the actual hit because he know he was helping, he was coaching me how to put the down. Yeah, y'all were both there. We were both there, so he coaching me how to do it because I don't know. I ain't never died nobody her. Well, that was the first day you. Were that dying. was my first day ever, so I really was. In this, okay. do you think that you might have put a little too much on there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was a lot. It was a lot, but that hair was pretty in the mud when he finished. <laughs> it was nice in the mud. He, Go ahead. Right, the way he did that video on the back of the ambulance, he looked good. He, <laughs> if you look in the comments when he was back there, people say, "Boy, your head's up straight in the mud." <laughs> they, they was telling you. Yeah. So you telling me that you sent literally this video to his brother. And what did he say? November the 4th at 913. If you go back and look at this message, it's right there. And, and if you try to say that, it ain't, it's another text up on it because we keep on responding every day, every morning. That's probably the first person I talked to every day was Kevin White. Kevin. You know what I'm saying? What wow. did he say when you sent that video to him and he saw it? I don't know. I showed it to him. I sh- this is how I sent it to him. Cause he I didn't show- say, oh, yeah, you right? No, this is how I showed it to him. I showed it to him in my shop. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm going to send this to you. And I sent it to him. You know how you show something? Mm-hmm. I'm going to send it to you. So when you showed it to him in the shop, what did he say? No, with no gun. That's his exact words. Mm-hmm. No, with no gun. So I'm trying to figure out. How do you say I set you up? For one, Charleston made a tape when he first, it was an impromptu stop. I didn't know what that word was until he said it. Mm -hmm. I had to go look it up. It's a stop made where nobody knows I was coming. Exactly. So how can you say you made an impromptu stop? What that mean? I got a question, because I don't know how, um, Kevin Spencer, is he a big dude, small dude? I don't, I can't remember. Shit. That day it was November. The, uh, 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 we said he I told, looked big I told, that day. It was October 29th. Mm-hmm. I'm six foot four. I'm two fifteen, two, two seventeen. So he comes at those six foot five, probably about two ninety, two maybe two, Ooh, maybe close to three hundred. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the reason why I'm asking you this is that if I'm mad at a person like that and I'm coming in and I hit him over the head. We gonna keep fighting. We gonna scuffle. It's gonna be a lot of everything. You can't hold me back because we gonna be into it. So when I see a lot of him talking and you know, it just didn't make no sense because if you come in to really do somebody harm, you should see rolling on the floor. You should see punches. You should well, see. Well, you know, you can see because the camera was right there on my chair where I was doing his hair. See, it wasn't ever meant to supposed to get none of that. It was just supposed to get Charleston head. That's the only thing. And see, it's another thing. See, we wouldn't even be talking about this right now, Charleston phone. If I'd have had Wi Fi, Charleston would have got his ass whooped on live. Because mm-hmm. he was trying saying? to get that thing. He was trying to get that thing to work. And so I'm at this barber shop. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here with my brother. He was trying to come over there and put us on the map. I ain't, I ain't gonna believe that. That's what he was trying to He was trying to come put us on the map. He was gonna pop it. Yeah, he was, it was a surprise pop up. Yeah. You so, know what I'm, so were they fighting and scuffling on the floor? Who was? The only one was quiet and scuffling was me and Kevin Spencer. Oh, okay, because you was trying to hold him back. Yeah. So he didn't really See, just... the second hit, he didn't get the second hit out. That second hit, the first hit was flushed, but Charleston was asleep, so you really don't feel it. That second one, I was catching him at the same time. 
mm-hmm. as he was coming. So he would hit the boy right in his mouth. Then why I don't understand how comes he said you um, set him up. Then if you the one holding Kevin back and trying to stop him from doing anything to him, because you could have let him go and let him really go in on him if that or, was the case. Or Kevin could have got on me or tried to be in him going to fight right. because I got in the middle of that stuff. Or his brother, you know what I'm saying? His brother could have jumped in. I don't want his brother. Jump. If everybody jump in, then this could be a problem. Yeah, because if you was trying to really allow this man to do him harm, you could have just let him. I could have just got out the you way. You could have acted like you fell and just fell and let him go. I don't know no barbershop. But if you holding no him like that. I don't know no barbershop that got a security guard. I don't know if if, if the barber if, if it's a high 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 priority like I I did uh, a guy for the MLB mm-hmm. when the Texas Rangers did I can, I went to his room after hours mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying that's how you, that's how you do it when you want privacy and don't nobody want to know who you are mm-hmm. you don't come to nobody's shop and go live and then expect you supposed to get privacy I feel like you comfortable right. You know right. what I'm saying? You going so if live. If you going live, people know where you are. So what? What's the difference with me locking the door or whatever? They can just sit outside. They know my thing is bright yellow on. Everybody in Fort Worth know that's my shop. They know how the inside of my mm-hmm. shop look. Have you lost clients because of this situation? Hell yeah, man! My shit look like a ghost town. So I know he got a little power. Hmm. It's cause he, he telling people not to come over there. And nobody. I don't know get what he's telling, but his brother packed. He got to think. His brother packed up and left. The women in there are getting scared. They don't want to come to work. You know what I'm saying? You put a big dabble by saying this. Uh, the, the lady upstairs, Rolinda Ab, she's saying that, 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 that she knew that all this was going on. Yeah, you knew. Like, don't nobody know you was in the building. Because mm. you made an impromptu stop. Because you made an impromptu stop. Wow. wow. And you was live. Because you was trying to go live getting me getting the shirt. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's crazy, man. I, I I sit back and I just think about, you know, those situations, man. Um, you say as soon as he came, once he, because uh, he had a flower pot threw at him, threw at him recently. Right. Well, he threw a pr- flower pot at somebody, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. And uh, I seen that on camera, too. And then they came and they dumped him, them boys, in Crockett. Right. He's been catching some issues here lately. And a lot of people say, they not real. These are not real incidents, but these are actual real incidents. He, he the stuff he did up there. I didn't believe the stuff in Arizona. The little stage in the way he was do the mm-hmm. boxing and all that. But this recent stuff in Texas. Oh, I believe every bit of it. What you think? I believe every bit of it too. Well, you lived that you was there, but I so know I that know. one in Crockett that was but real. That Crockett that, now that, that you can tell that was real. <laughs> that jumped from zero to a hundred. Quick, fast. quick. But that surprise that video surprised me too, because you can see it coming. Like Dubair say, he been battle tested, right? That's what he always say he been battle tested. So when I seen him jump down at that stage, I said, "Oh, this dude right here finna get it." So when Charleston threw the pot, now he from Fort Worth. Whoa, I'm glad he did it. You hear me? Because you can't just keep talking to stuff right here. And you steady coming to the stage. He got that Fort Worth blood in him. He gonna act. He gonna, he gonna take off. That's what he posted. I ain't mad at him that he did it. Right? Right. But at the same time, as he could do Barry jumping back up, he supposed to cop that dude coming up them stairs. He had free reins at him. You right. know what I'm saying? He had free reins. You let that man go by you and get him like that, man. I don't know what you did behind the curtain. I ain't gonna count that. I don't know, because I, 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 I could see the dude punching. Uh, yeah, it was behind the curtain. We, can't, we couldn't really yeah, just we, see everything. We know you had action on that stage. You was on the stage. Wow, that was that was a hell of a night. I got that one sent to me. You looked at it. You had time to pull your pants up. You did the side hop. You know what I'm saying? You, everything. But I'm trying to figure out why he didn't slash him off the top like that. And, and, he, and, and didn't do nothing. When I, I really saved you, man, because that boy was going, that boy coming out like Jason. You know, he got these glasses on, this one piece bodysuit. You know what I'm saying? Big old boy. So you really, when you grab, oh, going back to that incident, when you grabbed him, you saved him. He could have really went bad for him yeah. right there. But at the same time, he know me too, Kevin Smith. Like he said, he know me. He know of me. You know what I'm saying? He know. So he, I, you, you can see the resistance in him. He just really wanted to hit Charleston in his mouth and get on. It's like, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that dude big, man. I live weights. I work out every day, but that was something else. You're trying to hold him back. Yeah, that was something else. And I'm thinking in my head, man, hurry up and get your wits how, together, boy. How long do you think, how, well, how long did this last? Maybe about 
Two minutes, maybe two. two it was quick. It was quick. Cause you see on the camera when he hit him with the first lick, you he got a second. He got a second, but it's like he didn't hit him. I was I was you going. Were, I was leaning into him by that because time. Because that's why he didn't flush him. That's that why next he time. didn't flush him the second time. So you saved him really, Charleston, from getting hit with that second blow hard. Right. Because people saying, man, he should. I, I heard some dudes like, man, that is, I'm from L.A. See, I heard one know. L.A. nigga once say you, that. Once you open my door, once the door almost hit my chair. So where I'm standing, at, I'm still like two feet. That's why I can see. The, the hand shake like this, but when he opened the door, he already in my chair. That's why he go by my hand like that, punch. quick. Yeah, because he the door still open. Damn. And so he hit him that second time. Then you see Charleston. He folds up. Right. He covers know, up. At that time, I don't know what he doing. Yeah, because you holding old boy. Right. He covered, but you holding old boy. Right. Okay, yeah. Because I was like, man, this this happened. It had to be quicker. That it looks slow motion. Everything because you said what you said. It was in slow motion. It was in slow motion. Damn. Wow. You know, I don't, like, I always record my haircuts, but, like, Charles, I always record it for the next day, right? I always do, because when he come on my bus, I always record it, and I don't put it out to the, the next, next morning. Day. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, even all my videos, I never put nothing out in real time. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I am, because I come from the hustling game. Yeah. I don't like people to ask me where you at, and I cut her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because my mind still caught up in, in that time. Like I don't like people to ask me where you at. You know uh, what I'm saying? It's just it's just like cause it's just like you know what I'm saying? Like have, where you at? Being nosy. Have you seen Charleston White since this incident? No, nah. hadn't seen him no more. Just see him online. Just online. Antics. And have people you know like like when you because you was frustrated that day when you made that speech like. Right. You were just saying enough is enough. I'm going to let enough you know, enough, man. man. I'm not playing no more with that. Because I asked you to leave me out of this, man. I don't want to do this tape like this. I really won't even want the tape. You know what I'm saying? I really want to keep it for work, man. Leave it. Why is you involved? If you don't, if Charleston don't never say nothing, none of this never come out. Charleston went right to the thing, right? Charleston the one called the laws. Charleston instigated the laws on this case. The laws called me. The laws called Kevin Spencer. The laws came up to my shop. The Twisted Black told me something about this when he was on the show. That because he came and did an interview, and I was like, "Man, I heard he, that it was a scuff at a barbershop. and he just gave me a little bit of insight on it. But that that last that Twisted Black album was cold. I, it was one, it was a few songs on that way. It was some cold. Did you listen to the whole? Yeah, whole my album? favorite song is uh, "Saying Too Much." Saying too much. That's, that's it. That's my mine too. Song, man. That's Saying mine too, too much. Yeah, he was on it on that thing. Yeah, he was man. on it. Like, like the Fort Worth area. I want to ask you a little bit, but I'm gonna get off Charleston for a second. Um, pause. But the Fort Worth scene since Twisted Black came back, as far as the music, man, how you feeling for that? How you feeling about how he's looking since he came home? As far as on the music scene, man, I'm so glad he came home. I've been they've been talking about he coming home for the last ever. forever. Before I went to jail, after I come to jail, actually, me and Twi I was in Big Spring, and Twisted Black was in the next little county. I think when he got caught, yeah, yeah. somewhere up that road in mm -hmm. West Texas. So we kind of got locked up the same, maybe the same day, wow. I believe. Wow, you know what I'm saying. So I really don't, you know what I'm saying. But that was always one of my favorite rappers. Cause he always kept it funky town, even though he's from Detroit. But he funky kept it real town. funky town. Yeah, he kept it real funky town. Man, man my favorite one was that I'm a fool with it, man. Uh, 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 and uh, hustler, uh, them two right I'm there. I'm a fool. Yeah, I play that all the time. When I'm doing my heart because I'm a fool with it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and and it was some. You know, you heard things like, um, I think when he when he first came home. I think that's when he Kevin and him shook hands or hugged. It was some stuff said by Charleston White on on that as well. Cause me and Twisted was talking about it on here, and it's like, you know, um, people, you know, Twisted had gotten asked a lot of stuff by Charleston because it was a lot of dissing. There's a lot of talk going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like man, will it ever be? You know, it ain't it ain't gonna violence ain't gonna never stop, bro. But will it ever slow down? Will it ever? You know, will the city ever come together? Man, to me, I see it been together since probably about 98, 2001. You know, it's, it was a mix of like me, Jimmy Daniels, TK, Rooster, Doc. All of us went to Tech and went to different schools. So, I, so you can go to Trumbull Tech from anywhere. So you got a lot of Crips. Eastwood and Stop Six were the only Bloods. Ain't too many Bloods from Stop Six. Gonna, they gonna go to Dunbar. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I just want I wanted to go to Tech to play basketball to be away from everybody else. But game banging started. 
gang banging started. I hear, like I said, when you hear about gang banging over there, y'all, man, y'all had a lot, man. You had the gay crip thing going, and then they he de- the what? It was a gay crip over there. Oh. And then you had, uh, uh, but then he, I think he said he wasn't with it no more or something after they, I think he went up to no jump and they say he denounced the cripping. But then there also, you got OG Percy over there. You got all kind of people over in Fort Worth, man. You got, you got, uh, man, it's, it's just a lot, a litany of people. You got half pint films over there. You got, man, you got, it's a bunch of, a lot of talent, man. A lot of talent, man. Go, yeah, you're about to come home. Do you think that going to change the scene? Man, oh yeah, it, coming it, it, home. It, it, that's my boy. I, I like. I really don't know him too much, person, but he be in my neighborhood a yeah. lot. So I see him going and coming, man. But it depends on the attitude that he bring home because he he a, he a good leader to be a young dude. But he got to have the right people behind him, like to don't let him get too far off track. Yeah, like, just like. Honeycomb Braves to come home. He ain't had the right people behind him. He gone back. You know now. what I'm saying? His people just let him crash out. Came you know what I'm and went. Yeah, you don't you don't do that. Your 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 homeboys can't come home and just let you crash out like they let them come home on a he come home on a mission to cause destruction. Yeah. You know? But but look at you. You said that when you came home, you went right back to selling dope. That was when I mean, you were I didn't I didn't get my I mean my grandparents or whatever happened to my grandparents, all that that kind of turmoil don't set in on you. Yeah, you talking about they got yeah. uh, they passed away. I know, I'm you know, got you, you, yeah, you don't they don't they don't set on you. So the first I didn't have nothing but I had two kids. My second son, my my son was born while I was in the county, mm-hmm. so I was kind of raising him through the yeah, jail yeah, cell. Through jail cell yeah. But see, my baby mama would bring him and just sit down and talk. So you know, I kind of just stayed tuned like that. Wow. Look, I'm, I'm about to wrap this up, but uh, just going back to the incident, to the tape, and um, you can get that that second part. <laughs> <laughs> You think I can get to the second part, man? I'm going to put that hole out. Well, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about it, man. So, we're going to talk about it, man. Hey, yeah. No, nah, man. I, like I said, I thank you for coming on the show. Like I said, I just I reached out to you because I was like, man, you know what? I like to hear the, what happened that day in detail because so many people jumped in my comments and they were so, oh, man, he set him up. Oh, man, that was a setup from the jump, man. Oh, that's fake. See, that's why I broke it down the way I did so everybody can see that it wasn't no setup. I just wish everybody can get the outside of him asking me. I even made a tape, man. I hate you ever even asked me for a haircut. Really? Yeah. That's the only one with the trap, boy. I just wish you would have just got, gave me them shirts and left. If you would have gave us them shirts and left, it wouldn't have never. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you asked for a haircut. Damn. And that day, that that do you do you think that because Charleston's been killing? Do, do you look at this as a win for Charleston with this incident happening? Because we've seen the whole run of Charleston White. Charleston White has been on the internet like crazy. Uh, he's walking around. See, that's forward. the only thing I'll be mad about is that, that he used my incident to get him some money because he always talk about that's it. That's right. Yeah, Trey Slack, I made me eighty nine hundred off of this. How you think I feel? And I ain't saying nothing. I ain't getting none of that. I ain't, and I'm innocent. So, so you took a lie and made you a bunch of money. You didn't come back and say, "Hey, well, I know I lied on you." Her, none of that. So, do you do you think that this was an L or a win? Look like you said it's a win because he it's got a all win that money. Because he got that money. Yeah, he got that money. But if he be lying, do you really, do really believe? Too, do you really believe that he got that money like that? I don't from know. this, I don't know. I don't care <laughs> nobody money. You see what I mean? I so just, that's like, what I'm saying. I don't know, but I'm just saying that's that's what, he, what, he, said. what he said. That's what he said. That's the screen. That's the conversation, man. Like 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 I said, it's crazy because with the internet the way it is, people are creating things, and you don't even know if they real or not. You don't even know if they real or not. You don't know if they acting. You don't know if they. And with him, sometimes he do be playing. Like you say, he, he, you don't know if know if he in character mode. Do you, man? Let me ask you this, because I got I ask everybody this, man. How important is God, man, in your life, bro? Man, I'm a believer in God. I don't believe everything in the Bible, though. No, but just you know what I'm saying some of the stuff is. But but for, for my mom, grandmama, everybody, they real strong believers in God. I can't do them but believe in God. <laughs> mama them, mama them up there. Yeah. Yeah, and and the reason I ask you that is because all this stuff, man. It don't lead down the right road. You and I both know that. You've been running a clean shop, man, for the last 
three years going right at man and, and a mobile barber shop since two thousand four two thousand sixteen. So you really got passion in this. You right. you really put your you know skin in the game in this man. And like I said, I hate that happened to your business because right. business is important. It's black men trying to have a little something in a community, man. The the barbershop is a staple in the community. Uh, right. of the conversations, yeah. the it's people a, that a come mental, through. It's a mental thing for people. People coming up with problems. You know, I, you got to talk people out of problems and they coming there telling me my, they problems. Like me and my wife separated. Hey man, what you think about this? I need you to talk to my kid. I'm going to bring my son up here and let you talk to him because well, I see what you're doing. Do, do you feel like that hurt with Charleston White and those antics being at your shop? Do you feel like that hurt your business? Uh, for the ones that didn't know me, like the ones, the people that would walk in, but the people that's really been down with me, I ain't lost them people, you yeah. know. But but the the the, the extra company, the money that that just fall in on the the humbug walk in and stuff, that ain't no more. It's like a little ghost town right now. Wow, because of what happened. Yeah, because you spread you? the word that, that that it's a bad spot, and it is a bad spot. But it's not a bad spot. You got Congressman Beasley, uh, uh, Mark Beasley spot up there. You got Wells Fargo across the street. You know, it's just a typical neighborhood. They probably just need. What's the name of your shop? Barbershop Express. Barbershop Express, y'all. 6800 Brentwood Star. 6800. We got to get the business back up. We, we, we got to get the walk-ins back going. Don't let this detour you, right? That's right. This, don't let this send you another way because this, this brother right here, he got his heart in the barber. Uh, the barber, the cuts is pristine. He can even use the comb and the razor, nigga. That's what let me know. And we're, really looking for, uh, we're looking for two barbers and one salon. Looking for two barbers and one, one salon? One stylist. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Wow. So since um, Kevin White is gone now, so that mean that all your dye supplies are gone now, so you can't even use the dyes no more. Oh, uh, let me tell you that. I even tried, because me and him was so tight, right? I would call him and say, hey, bro, I got somebody that need their hair dyed, right? He, he'd say, nah, I think I'm going to pass on this. Like, he's scared. Like, I'm going to say, I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. what you tripping on? You know I didn't have nothing to do with it. You know for a 1,000% fact that I didn't have nothing. That's why I've been going in hard on him here lately, man. Mm. He been all kind of bitch-ass dudes to me. You hear me straight up because you let this go on. I sent that to you. You could have stopped that. Hey, bro, that ain't the one. You see what I'm saying? You had all the action stop this. So what is your motive for not telling him that? What is your motive for not showing him that? What is your motive for letting your brother crash out and looking like a dummy? Mm -hmm. What you learned in 31 years? Is you a coward? You can't speak up to him because he got the money? You scared he going to cuss you out? Because right is right and wrong is wrong, man. You let him drag me like Some that. people, right or wrong, they going to defend their they family. Shouldn't. You understand what I mean? Right or wrong, he going to still always have his back because that's how some family is. Yeah, but it, it, it it's definitely... But we're playing a different game. We're playing a street game yeah. now, man. That, that, that went into... You, now you got my business, but that really was some street stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about how you handle it and decipher that situation. Wow, I just, like I said, man, I want to see your business thrive, brother. Man, you I like me, being that, a black-owned business, it ain't many of us. You know, but to see you step out there on faith and open up a business coming from de doing it mobile, you know, to putting it in a brick and mortar. I think that's superb, man. Like I said, man, and, and kudos to you for figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because a lot of brothers will never have a business. I've never opened a business up. Some of the same very dudes that had the incidents dealing yeah. with it hadn't opened up nothing. Sorry. You know what I mean? So, man, you thank you for even being a pillar in the community. Right. I would say, you know, I'd do a re-grand opening. I'm fly like that. That's, if I was you, I'd re-grand open that thing. I'd go down mm -hmm. there and get the city to cut a ribbon in the front of that thing, and I'd keep it moving. Oh, we on it, boy. You see what I'm that. saying? We on it. Yeah, I, I'd redo it again, because at the end of the day, you know and I know, if your heart is in the right place, man, God ain't going to do nothing but give you a push. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was, a, it, and I say this, man, you know, people don't like it because I talk Bible, because like I can say I, right. I, I study and read. Uh, 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 Jay, it's a story in there about a guy named Joseph, and they his brothers did him wrong. Mm -hmm. and, he, and, and he say, what y'all did to me for bad, God turned it to good. So sometimes God will turn things to good. Just because the situation seems bad doesn't mean it can't be turned to the good. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I just feel like, man, you... If you stay focused and keep planting them seeds up there and keep cutting that hair, I'm coming through there and getting me a cut. Uh, I'm gonna come. I got me one today. Yeah, but yeah. but I'm gonna come through there and and then level up what you let you give. I might get you to use the comb and razor. I want to go back one more time. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? I'm about to go five me <laughs> a go, comb. We got to break one of them razors down, to, right? But I already got them rat tails. See, I was off the barber, so I, I had the ups on everybody. I had uh, the rat tail. 
Had that rat tail. Man, thank you so much, Trey, man. man. Trey y'all, Stacks, y'all man. Worth, man. Make y'all sure y'all stand up, man. Go y'all be follow good, this man. guy, man. Go check his barbershop out there in Fort Worth out, man. But go follow. Where can they follow you on Instagram? You can follow me on Instagram, Barbershop Express 77. You can follow me on in, I mean Facebook at Trey Slack. Trey Slack's in the building, and guys. And YouTube, Trey Slack at Barbershop Express. And, and I'm about to put that other part of the tape out. I don't know what's on it, guys, but I'm, I'm about to let it out. I'm about to rock, 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 rock. <laughs> Check man, it out. I got a good little insight for y'all too, man. I got a little real game, man. Change your mind, get the kids, man. Do something for the kids and give them some some look motivational talk, man. I ain't just about no haircutting. Wow. Now, let me ask you this, cause this is another note. A lot of people, and I'm gonna go back into Charleston one more time, cause when I had him over here, we brought kids in. We did things for the kids. He was really a community guy two years ago when I met him, mm-hmm. and we went to the juvenile. Me and uh, Miss King, Regina King, was her name, mm-hmm. and uh, I was going out and doing stuff, and then we. We brought the kids over, gave them clothes, and fed them, you know, and all that good stuff. It, are you seeing those things happening now since since Charleston has gotten his fame? Is he still doing that work in the community that you've seen? I don't see it. I just see that he high siding with the money he got, making everybody look bad. You know what I'm saying? You stay, you how you gonna make money in the hood and talk about us? How we gonna support you and, and stand behind you? And all you do is call the vision, man. For worth looking for somebody to come through with some love, bring some unity to it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we've been in the distress at a long time in Fort Worth, man. And a lot of people know a lot of people, and everybody know everybody. So we really a tight knit community. But you got little moles in there that, that, that try to keep us at odds because they know a lot of people pass. Wow. I just, I, I want to see that whole, man, all my black people over there, man. Uh, they, they basically, I love all my people, bro. Like I said, over there in Dallas, wherever, East Texas, Houston, Texas, San Antonio, stand up, Austin, Texas. It's going down, it's going man. Down, El Paso, man. Texas. El Paso. It's going down, man. You say you hit all them damn units, so I know you already know what time it yes, is. Yes, sir. Them units tell it all, don't them they? Them units tell it all, especially if you don't fall down there with, 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 with the Mexicans. Y'all on Garza? Yeah, anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. They everywhere. They anywhere. They EPT, everywhere. West Texas, Tonga. Go blast. Ooh. You got all of them. And don't let nothing set out. Man, thank you so much for coming What's on up? the show, man. Uh, hey, man, if, 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 if you couldn't speak and you wanted, if, if what's one thing that you would want people to, to to say about you in a documentary if you weren't able to write it and somebody was writing it for you? Boosie, my boy, man. That boy almost realer than Boosie. Oh, there we are. Boosie, boo, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Trace uh-huh. Tech. Man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. And we out.